Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And we are grabbing yet another 15 to 20 minute easy completion with Drone Gladiator. Now this was developed and published by Flying Islands team, but as time of recording has no official price, so one would assume this time it's around 4 99 Although I did say the same for Tony and Clyde and got that horribly wrong, but Flying Islands team is usually pretty good, and on the PC window stack, it's only £4.19, so hopefully they won't add another 20 quid to the price. Uh, so this is basically a third person shooter where we can strap a certain amount of weapons to us, being a metal ball and all, and having wave upon wave of enemy come at you. Now when I say wave upon wave, the most you'll get is like 6 or 7 and they can be easily avoided. Now the achievements too are very simple, we need to destroy 10, 33 and 77 enemies, kill 20 with a sword, kill a, number, a certain number with guns, survive 10 waves, kill a very easy boss, make a purchase and complete a random event, although that event is, as I just said, randomised. <laughs> But all in all, it is a pretty fun game to be honest, and as I said, it'll only take around 15 to 20 minutes. Like I said earlier, you can also stack it with the Windows version and get a further 2k game score on the PC. So that's worth a shot as two, uh, shot as well too, and it's easy on there as well. So, with that being said then, let's go ahead and do this. So, go ahead, start a new game, of course. And then what you're going to see, uh, what comes up immediately is the sort of weapon section, this store. So, press the right trigger there to open the store. And what you'll see there, on the right hand side, you've got the left and right modules. So you can do, these are basically swords, which we're going to need to strap on so we can start them off. Um, now if you just press the left trigger and right trigger, that's what, that's what you'll be using to use the swords. Now if you press the right bumper, you will go over to the gun section. So as you can see there, on the left... You, you will now use the left trigger and right trigger to use the swords. Go over to the guns, and as you can see, you've got um, the MG, which you can use both left and right, a shotgun, and a rocket launcher. Obviously, the more waves you do and the more money you collect, the more you can unlock, but we don't need that. Uh, so what I do then is just press the left bumper and right bumper on the rocket launchers, and we're just going to use those for now. You can do a big combination if you want. Um, I just find it easier and more simplistic to have two on each one. So... Press the left trigger there to start the waves, and as you'll see, um, little beams of light will come down, start shooting out enemies, of course. And again, what we're going to do is, the first achievement, we're going to get 20 kills with the sword. So, stay here, just keep having a little look around. Also, by the way, you can pr and then press left trigger or right trigger to kill those enemies. And there you go, that's the first wave done. Now, after every wave, um, you can either press left trigger to start a new one, or right trigger to open up the store. So we can do that if you want to have a look at something else. Um, in terms of health, as long as you're not getting hit, you can uh, your health regains slowly. And also click in the right stick to jump as well. Uh, so that is, that'll come in handy a little bit later on. So click in the right stick to jump if you want. But for now, we are just going to focus on... Uh, well, there we go. Samurai. So it wasn't even 20 enemies we need to kill. It was literally like 5. So what we're going to do... Eventually, maybe after this one, we're going to now just choose it to the gun. Um, now, again, and these waves will be random for you. You won't, potentially, you will not get the same sort of waves that I do. It's the same, you know, it's the, it is the same principle. You're going to get a couple of enemies like this, uh, but not everyone will be exactly the same. So, just keep spinning around, and obviously the best, and there we go, we've already got the second achievement there for destroying ten enemies. Um, now, the best thing to do is, obviously... If you stay still, you're going to be dead quick. So keep moving around, keep moving. Be in a metal ball sack and all, you ain't going to run out of stamina or anything, you. So what we're going to do now is change the swords and you uh, basically put the machine guns on them. Uh, so the machine guns on the front, obviously, as you can see, you've scrolled over. Press the left trigger and right trigger to do that. And now we're just going to get enough, um, enough kills with the gun. In terms of ammo, you literally do not need to worry. So just keep moving and keep shooting. Every time that you run out of ammo, it, it takes like 5 seconds to refill again. So you don't actually... You never run out of ammo. Which all, always makes it easier. Same with the rocket launcher. Use the rocket launchers once or twice. And it just takes about 10 to 15 seconds to refill. So do not panic. The only thing we'll be doing in the store is uh, purchasing one item. And that's it. So you've got these things. These are a bit of a bugger. They take a little bit of a while to go down. Um, but, but what I would do is... Uh, just destroy the small enemies first because they're a pain in the ass and then those big things can actually shoot rockets as well so just keep keep moving keep avoiding again 
all the small nitty gritty little nutsack ones you know the ones like a little one of those little yappy barking little bastard dogs who just yap 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 even though they're about one foot tall and you could just boot them into next I'm joking don't boot the dog into next week highly advise against that but uh, that's what they're like just yapping at your leg rah, 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 rah. yeah piss off you little shitbag so again, have a little look if you want. If you've got enough uh, coins, which I do, I think, I believe. I've got 455 coins. No, not quite yet. I think it's 500 for the first one. But as you can see, we're already on wave 7. You will literally get random random ones. So you might already have a random event, which is basically a, a wave covered in darkness. Uh, which I think is the next one I get. Um, but again, just keep shooting for now. Uh, again, go for all the smaller enemies first. And then with these bigger enemies, just... Keep spinning around. Wait until uh, he pops his ass up. And that'll be the best way to do these. Just keep spinning around. Because again, it <laughs> you can shoot them with rockets. But they can shoot you twice as hard with <laughs> with other rockets as well. So keep on, keep on spinning, keep on spinning, keep on jumping. And like I said, right, click in the right stick there to jump in. I didn't actually know until I got to the final boss. Which... Um, in fact, the final boss, the, the the one boss beat me because I didn't know how to jump. Which is very stupid of me. <laughs> That's why I'm letting you not do that. Right, 645. So now we can go down to the sort of, uh, where it's the, it's got the yellow scent type thing there. Um, or to the left module or right module or whatever. So you do have enough. 400, sorry. So it wasn't 500, it was 400. So just press the A button on that and that'll get you your first and only purchase. By the way, one can only assume that more title updates will be coming in. So you've got first purchase there, the new achievement. And this is the random event where it can happen at any point for you. And all it is, is the same sort of thing, just covered in darkness. So just keep spinning. Keep going for the smaller enemies first. And we've got the gun lover achievement as well. Again, if you've just um, um, stuck, <laughs> sorry, stuck with the guns as well, straight after the swords, you will get this automatically. Plus destroying 33 enemies. And we've only got one now for destroying seven, 77 enemies. So, again, like I said, just keep on smashing out those little yappy bastard dogs. Uh, go on, shoot them. Again, not in real life. Do not go shooting dogs in real life. Because, man, you'll be, you will be the most hated person on the planet. Um, but this is... Again, it's all it's all easy. When you have a rhythm for it, the first wave or two when you first begin might, be, might seem a bit weird and potentially tricky. But when you get a routine going and when you get, a, when you get it absolutely nailed on... Well, man, that shit is shippers. Seepers. Right, uh, again, you can have a look at the right module if you want. But what we're going to do now is go to wave 9. So you should get the first time achievement now for completing the random event. So, I mean, obviously, you know, the, these waves do get a little bit trickier. But, as I said, just keep moving and keep going for the smaller enemies first. You know, get rid of the little puffballs, the little douchebag puffball dogs. I do like dogs, by the way. I know I sound like a heartless twat bag, but uh, no, I do like dogs. But it's just those little yappy ones, you know, you're trying to go about your day and they just, they think they're like, you know, a bloody Doberman or something. And they're not. Right, so, again, kind of like uh, you on a night out, isn't it? When you get that tiny little eight stone boy thinking he's solid, trying to impress his missus. And then you just blow him, you brush him aside with one flick of the wrist. <laughs> exactly the same as those yapping little dogs. So, after this wave... <laughs> anyway, sorry, moving on. Just going on about absolutely nothing. After this wave is finally done, then what we're going to do is finally the boss, the tree gun. Now, I'm going to show you not what to do. So, basically, when he starts, he can be in a random location. In terms of, he might be close to the water... Which, if you do go over the side and into the water, you die and you'll have to do the 10 waves again. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you exactly not what to do and what to do. As uh, so we should have, there we go. So, survive the 10 waves which we've done, jump into the platform into the water, complete the boss, which we're going to do now, and kill 77 enemies. So, that's who we got left. But, like I said, the trigger, or treader, sorry, treader, whatever the hell it is, he's going to be in a random location. So, you want him, um, obviously, more towards in the middle of the arena. So as you can see, there he is. So just keep shooting, keep sh keep shooting and moving. Again, do not stop. Just keep shooting and moving. And when he stops, he's going to jump and get this little wave going. So jump over these with ease. Now, my problem is, 
he was quite close to the water, which I didn't realize. So I'm going to go around him, keep shooting. Every time you run out of machine gun ammo, ammo, then use the rocket launcher. As soon as he jumps, you jump. But what's going to happen is here, I'm just going to fly off the edge like a complete douchebag. And I'm like, ah, oh, you son of a bitch. And I get a little frustrated, as it were. And I, I mean, you need to... <laughs> you need to jump off the edge into the water anyway But obviously if you do it before you beat the boss you actually have to do the ten waves again Which again is just a son of a goddamn son of a ball sack snatch So I mean we get the achievement which is great, but now I have to go through the complete ten waves again So let's just go uh, That was me fast forwarding apparently Sounded like an aid infected dog, really. But uh, there we go. So we're back at the treader, uh, treader, treader, whatever you want to call him. And this time he's a bit further away from the water. So again, highly advise just try and stay away from the water if he's quite close to it. But all this is all you're going to do then. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Rocket launcher after you run out of machine gun ammo. Bam! Out down up your butt's net, man. And then as soon as he jumps, you jump as soon as he comes here. And then obviously the more health that goes down on the treader, 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 treader. Um, he eventually starts doing three jumps in a row, but that is as difficult, quote unquote, difficult as it gets. So there you go. It's it's really not that bad. If you do get hit by a couple of these, he can take you down quite easily. Um, but all we're doing is moving. Just ki literally keep spinning around him, and he's gonna jump and housing. Almost messed that one up. Jump and housing, jump and housing, and it is as simple as that. Hello, my friend. It is time to die. Arnie Schwarzenegger Stahl. Ah, yeah. Right, so we have got the Treader, or the Treader. Now, for some reason, the achievement actually didn't unlock for me on screen, so hopefully it should unlock for you with no issues at all. Uh, you can see it unlocks there in the actual game, but it didn't unlock for me. So what I've had to do now, all I've got left is to kill 77 enemies. So I started a new wave, and you may get this first time, you may get it on the second or third third time you play through, but you'll get this slime invasion. Now, there's literally about 50 enemies, 40 to 50 enemies that turn up here. So with that, you should get the 77 easy. But that is that then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game and the guide as well. Don't forget to check me out on my socials. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone on Patreon. As usual, you guys and gals are legendary. And to be honest, I'll probably see you in the next title update. The next four, I expect. <laughs> so, catch you later, you big guys and gals. Big love.